What's up, everyone? I'm back. Sorry I've been gone so long. Um, the last few months were kind of different and difficult. And don't want to go into it. Anyway, um, I've been wanting to do this for a while. And it turns out um, it's most likely going to be a series. So this video is probably going to be pretty short, just kind of going over some of the things I have a problem with when it comes to the pseudoscience of chiropractic this week on Think Stuff Dickly. <music> chiropractic is a form of complementary and alternative medicine. That is, it is part of a group of treatments and um, quote-unquote therapies that is not included in what um, could be referred to as science-based medicine. Um, as Tim Minchin said, um, I guess, you know what? Instead of me saying what Tim Minchin said, I'll let Tim Minchin say it for me. By definition, I begin, alternative medicine, I continue, has either not been proved to work or been proved not to work. Do you know what they call alternative medicine that's been proved to work? medicine exactly like exactly if it's not proven and it's alternative then it's not um scientific it's not um accepted by the medical community it's not an efficable treatment most likely um if you don't know what chiropractic is um it's the idea that um by adjusting quote-unquote subluxations um, or misalignments or what have you in the spine that you can cure all manner of ailments um, some that aren't even um, related to or in connection with the muscular skeletal system. Probably the biggest pet peeve of mine for chiropractors is that they perform this pseudoscience on babies and kids who don't have the opportunity to assess you know the legitimacy of the claims. I mean, if adults want to do it, I still have a problem with adults being taken advantage of also. But it seems worse happen if it's happening to kids. Like, adults can make their own decisions. Um, given the lack of evidence for the efficacy of this treatment, as well as the fact that it, you're manipulating a very sensitive part of the body that, if damaged, can leave one paralyzed or kill them, Lots of problems can be caused by incorrect manipulation of the spine and um, cervical uh, spine, your neck. I decided to see if JAMA, the Journal of the American Medical Association, had anything to say about it. And the articles I found, which I'll be using in future videos, don't at all support uh, the claim that it works. In fact, a lot of the articles were like, this isn't ethical. I in a lot of the responses are a lot of the articles are actually responses to chiropractors publishing articles saying that it does work, and then real medical scientists checking their claims and finding out no, they're wrong. Uh, the last thing is um, I actually talked to probably the most honest chiropractor in the world today. I can't divulge the name of the chiropractor. Um, because I did not inform that chiropractor that the call you're going to hear uh, was recorded. So you're going to hear his name blocked out, but all the other relevant information um, I'll leave in there. So um, just to give you some background as to what I was doing, I just wanted to see kind of how uh, a chiropractor would answer the following question. What is your uh, medical expertise or what qualifies you to be a chiropractor? So without further ado, here is... Uh, that audio clip of that particular chiropractor. Hello. Hi, is this the joint chiropractic in Austin, Texas? No, we are in Stafford, Virginia. Oh, okay. Um, but you're but your your chiropractor office, correct? Yes. Um, I was wondering if you could tell me the um medical qualifications of the practicing um chiropractor. Um, let me see, uh, give me one sec. Actually, you know, he's in right now, um, and let me just go grab him, okay? I'll be right back. And what's your first name? Um, uh, my, my first name is... Okay, hold on. Hello? 
Yes. This is Dr. How are you? Hi, I'm doing fine. How are you? I'm good. So, what are you looking to find out? Well, I was just trying to ascertain um, your qualifications as a chiropractor and what medical experience you have, etc. Um, medical experience, um, that's, well, that's a good question, because I really, chiropractic to me is not medical, it's chiropractic. Chiropractic experience, I've been a chiropractor for almost 22 years now. I was board certified in New York in 1993 of October, um, graduated in June of 93, and, um, I've been practicing in Virginia now for almost... 12 years, um, so that's my qualifications, board certified, been practicing for almost 22 years. So you did not, in fact, attend a, um, an accredited medical university for 48 years? A medical university? No, I went to a chiropractic college that had accreditation through the CCE. And how? Uh, what was the amount of time? Uh, what, what was the? What was that like? How many years curriculum? Like just kind of in a nutshell. In a nutshell, um, I went to um, undergrad for four years, and then my chiropractic college was three and a half years of schooling, but it wasn't, there weren't semester breaks. And if you go online and you do a comparison of chiropractic education to medical education uh, for the first four years of med school and chiropractic, um, different schools vary, but we have very similar credits. We had to be, the board certification should really be the thing that perks your ears because in order to become a chiropractor and be board certified, it's through a medical board, even though we're a chiropractic board, it's run through the AMA. And so we go through rigorous testing to make sure we're qualified to be um, primary care um, under the uh, guise of the AMA. So I'm trying to answer your question as best I can. I'm not really sure of exactly. Are you looking to come into the office or are you just looking for information about chiropractic in general? Um, the latter, honestly, yeah. I'm just trying to get some just general information. Okay. Cause I Anything was, else that I can answer? Not, not today, no. I thank have, you. I have patients. Okay, I have patients here and I, I need to get to them. That's no problem. Thank you for so much for your time. Yeah. So... When the chiropractors are themselves kind of admitting that it's not medicine, that should perk your ears up. You also notice he got a little bit defensive towards the end, um, which is to be expected when someone who's peddling nonsense is questioned about it. All right, everyone. Well, that's it for today. Um, it's I, I know it was a short video um, in just kind of setting up what I want to do with the series in general. I, I, I'm going to explore these topics in far more detail than I did in this video because they deserve um, as such. And there's much more research that needs to be done uh, before I can put together a more, uh, a better uh, comprehensive video. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it kind of everywhere. Um, if you think I missed a problem or if there's something that you want me to cover, please put it in the comments uh, below so I can check them out and make sure I don't leave any rock unturned and I will see you next time. Bye!